As these words are backed out, the American economy is barely turning over with the slow 111 of an 11-year-old diehard after a three-week cold soak at the Minneapolis airport. But last November, we threw a bunch of those hopey changey bums out, and the lame duck 2010 Congress has set the trickle-down wheels in motion by extending the Bush tax cuts for all. So surely any day now, our economic engine will be taking over smoothly. And all you business owners and top bracket investors who have been hoarding your cash will be spreading it around, right? We hear the extension saves you rich folks $103,835 per million of annual taxable income. What better economic stimulus for you to spend it on than a shiny replacement for that tired old barge you've been driving since the credit party music stopped? But which flagship to choose? Restraint is still called for. Pop free V12 and your tea party pals will TSK disapprovingly at your liberal elite profligacy. Better to demonstrate some shared sacrifice, or do the entry-level power train and go easy on the options. Then, if cap and trade sends energy prices through the ozone hole, you can brag about your forward-thinking choice of a thrifty V6, hybrid, or small, naturally aspirated V8. The obvious entry-level choices begin with the perennial benchmark Mercedes-Benz, whose S400 hybrid promises to peg the smugometer. Its 3.5-liter V6 is augmented by a 118-pound-foot electric motor and lithium-ion battery.